Julie. I'm here with Chester. And I want to take this opportunity to make a video to show you our morning routine and how we get him out of the kennel and how we feed him his breakfast. Chester is overexcited and over aroused a lot of the time. So obviously the kennel is crucial for overnight and when you're not home. But we can actually use the kennel door as our tool before we have our e-collar on. Because overnight, aside from the first two nights, if you're having problems with barking or whining, the e-collar is not going to be on in the kennel. So when you approach the kennel, you don't want to open it up and let him No. You don't want to open it up and let him barge out. And now you've got a loose dog running all over your house. So we're gonna be using this crate door as the tool before we get the main tool on. So when you approach the crate, especially in the morning, no, I know for a fact he goes crazy. He just goes absolutely crazy. His tail's beating against the kennel. He can barely contain himself. When you first open that kennel door and he's coming barreling out at you and he's going nuts, you need to firmly close the door again. And you're going to keep repeating this until you can open the door and he's sitting there looking at you. Then you are going to get the tool, the main tool on, which is the e-collar. So that's going to go on. Okay, now we have our main tool and we can control him. So the first thing I do is feed him breakfast. We always want him to wait for the food before he starts eating. He's not allowed to just jump over into your lap and start nibbling down his food. We actually need to be able to put the food down and he waits for permission to start eating. So if I start to put the food down and he goes for it, I just take it away. You can pair that with the collar tap if you need to. But this is, again, we're just working on his impulse control and patience. So I should be able to put, no, just like that. I should be able to put the food down, get eye contact, and then give him the okay. Once you do that a couple times, it just becomes habit. But it's just another way for you to get another amount of respect. So we'll let him eat. morning potty, 
A good routine I like to get into is just bringing the dog straight in from the potty yard and putting them on place. Having them wait until the next activity you're ready to do with them. Whether that be a walk, whether that be quality time, cuddling, or playing with a toy, they need to be waiting for you while you're doing your morning routine. We don't want to bring them in and let them run all over the house. So a good option is to put them on place or put them back in the kennel until you're ready to do something with them. So I'm going to use my recall to get him back in from the yard and we're going to put him right on place. Tapping my tone, here he is, place. So he's not listening to me, I'm gonna click, place. That click was at a 10. Down, nothing punishing, but just, hey, I didn't tell you to go around the stairs. Okay, click, and then I repeat the command. It's a perfect use of the heat collar. Now that he's on place, he's anchored there. So I get to do my morning routine, whether that's make coffee, make breakfast, get dressed, get the kids ready, he stays there. Now, if I wanted to take this even further, if he was struggling, okay, let's say he just did it himself. If he was really struggling, panting, really itching to get off, I can put him in a double down, which is just what he did automatically already. So he's doing great. Now the place command, he could be here for hours. One more thing, if he's gonna be here for a while, that I don't want you guys to forget is the tie back. So for the first few weeks, he needs to have a leash on, on place, tied to something sturdy. So it goes around his neck like that, and then it would tie to a banister, under the leg of a couch, under the leg of heavy furniture. So if he did step off, you can correct him put him back on instead of having him step off and make it three rooms over or three levels up. Huge difference in the tie back because it patterns stay on the bed and when you get off the bed you get corrected versus when you get off the bed you get rewarded. Huge difference, so you have to use that tie back. Break, oh boy.